Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we got a good show for you today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Everybody, I'm in the airport, so you may hear some paging and stuff going on. Don't panic. We're at the airport. We're flying back to Cabo. We're done with Tahoe. Had a great time with my granddaughter, but we're going back to Cabo. We're in the airport here in Arizona. And uh, we're going to talk about rockfish fishing today and how to and the best way to do it and the best way to go about it. And if you look at my picture that I posted this morning on social media, it shows the rock cod squid squirts. Promar Ahi makes those rock cod squid squirts. They are a must have if you're going fishing for rockfish in Southern California. And we only got a couple of weeks left. And then the rockfish season will be closed until April 1st. So we're going to extra month of the closure on the front side here and we'll talk about the back side later on but right now i'm going to suggest that you get out there and go rock fishing sooner than later so you can get some of those fine tasting fish in your freezer to get you through these winter months like i said it's going to close on january 1st 2023 and it won't open again until april 1st 2023 so hang on get ready and uh we're going to talk about how to do it real quick. We'll go over some of the do's and don'ts of rockfish fishing. If you don't have any spots to rockfish fish, you can always go over to my website, yoursaltwaterguide.com. Hold on. Like I said, there's going to be a little paging going on. We're live at the airport. Just hang in there. Okay. So go to my website, yoursaltwaterguide.com with over a thousand spots we cover a lot of the rockfish spots and if you look at some of the fish reports lately guys that have been following the plan and fishing in between all this wind and weather they've been doing very very well out there fishing those rockfish on those spots that have been fished for a hundred years but the difference is i teach you how to fish the spots and what to use when you go there and these rock cod squid squirts from promarahi.com are nothing but spectacular. They're already pre-rigged ganyans, two hooks, just like you're in compliance with the Department of Fish and Wildlife, and you're ready to go. If you don't know what those are, go to promarahi.com. Check out the website. On there, you're going to see the rock cod squirts. Check out those rock cod squirts. They can make them in a pink and in a white. The white's kind of a pearly color. The pink almost matches the red crab, which those rockfish have been feeding on in Southern California for such a very long time. That's their go-to color, that pink color. They're going to jump on that all day. Sometimes you can put a little tiny strip of squid on them, or you, sometimes you don't even have to put any bait on them. I always send them down with a small strip of squid. Then if the fish rips them off or anything, I know right away that that's still fishing down there. Where if you're using a dropper loop, you get a couple bites, you don't feel any more bites, you know your bait's gone. But with those squid squirts, they're fishing. Those rock cod squirts, they're fishing the whole time with or without bait. It looks just like the bait that they're used to eating down there, small squid and red crab. So we're going to go over a few of the do's and don'ts of rockfish fishing. Number one, do not go rockfish fishing with any monofilament on your reel. No mono, zero mono, straight braid and a piece of fluorocarbon if you have to have a piece of mono in front of, but no mono. If you have to have a piece of uh, line in front of your braid between your gagnon and uh, your reel. If you have to have something other than braid, use fluorocarbon. Why? Because we're trying to get down to these fish and they're on very small little spots. Like if you go to my website and look at, we talk about some of these spots are smaller than most of your home, most of your houses. And a lot of them are the size of your living room or the size of your bedroom. Very, very small spots that those reds like to accumulate on. So you wanna get down there as quick as you possibly can. That's why it's imperative to make sure you're not using mono. Mono floats. We talked about this a week or so ago when we were talking about fishing line. Nowadays, really, there is no application for monofilament in Southern California or in anywhere. Braid and floral, softer tip rod if you want that little bit of stretch. Maybe if you're trolling, put 100 feet top shot of mono for a little bit of a spring action, but... I think the softer tip rods, and I talk about that on my uh, rod videos, the type of rods I like to use. It's the longer rod with the softer tip that gives you that little bit of give. And I use it all the time when I'm rockfish fishing too. I'll use my nine foot 
heavy duty PCH rod with a Tesoro reel filled with the rim with braided line. And then I just hook on that little rock cod squirt ganyan and drop it on down there. It works flawless. And that longer rod with the softer tips makes it a little bit easier for catching those rockfish and not ripping their faces off when you set the hook. We're going to talk about setting the hook in just a minute and how important it is to keep winding and not jerking. But gang, I want you to go over there and check out my website, yoursaltwaterguide.com. We got that holiday special going on. There's only a few weeks left of the holidays, and then that special is going to go away, and it'll go back to regular prices. Right now, you get all the bundles, and you get a one-year membership for $200. That's a $560 value for $200. You can't beat it. So make sure you go and check out the website. And if you have any questions when you're looking at the website or if something doesn't make sense or you're not understanding it, Give me a call at 949-374-0786 and I'll get you dialed in and get it all going in the right direction for you and I'll never let you down. We got over 3,000 members. You need to be a member of the website. We keep you up on what's happening and how to do it. Now, as far as when you're fishing rockfish, you drop that, you, let's say you're on my website and you go to the numbers that I gave you. You want to go straight to those numbers. You don't want to let your line down to the bottom until it says that you have 0.0 to go you don't want to go drop it down when you have 0 0.4 or 0 0.6 you're not going to be on it you want your gps distance to go needs to say 0, 0 0.0 then you let them go and you get them down there to the bottom when it hits the bottom you click it in gear take a half a crank so you don't snag on the bottom then what you do when you get that bite is you make a small hook set when you swing on the fish you want to be turning your handle at the same time because think about it, most of the areas that you're fishing in are 200 to 600 feet of water. So if you do that big giant swing and you do not turn the handle, you never even really got the hook set in the fish. You did a big giant swing and then you drop the tip down because you couldn't feel nothing. You want to swing and wind at the same time. Once you feel the fish and you hooked it, you do not want to jerk anymore. Now you want to slow and steady, turn the handle, slow and steady, wind it up. Don't jerk and wind, jerk and wind. I see people do that when their line's down 600 feet or 300 feet and they jerk and they wind and they jerk and they wind. You think about that rockfish. Every time you jerk, you're ripping a bigger hole in his face and a bigger hole and then you drop the tip and you got that six or eight or 12 ounce weight on there. That's wearing a giant hole in his mouth and if you jerk enough times you will jerk him off and once you jerk him off now you got nothing now you got to come up to the surface get more bait or drop it all the way back down to the bottom and you probably aren't even on the spot again so what i suggest is one quick snap of the rod turning the handle at the same time not even coming up above the horizon when you set the hook your your rod tip should always be pointed down at the water when you swing that tip shouldn't come up above the horizon. Swing and wind at the same time, and you'll feel that fish on there. Once you feel them, then it's just a slow, steady wind. I like to put the rod on the rail and just slowly wind it up. And I get to the surface, I set my rod down on the rail, I reach over the side, and I hand my fish onto the boat. Never, ever do you swing those fish onto the boat. That's crazy. First of all, a rockfish it looks like a giant needle. It's got needles all over him. He's just full of spines. And you also have that 6 or 12 or 16 ounce weight flying through the air, smashing into your gel coat, smashing into the side of your boat, smashing onto your deck. That's ridiculous, gang. Wind it up when the fish gets right to the surface, set the pole down on the rail. Set your fishing rod down on the rail, lean it on the rail, reach over, grab the fish with your hands, lift them onto the boat, and set them down on the deck. Yeah. If you swing it on there, gang, you're, <laughs> if it's not your boat, you're destroying somebody else's boat. You're putting chips in their gel coat, or if it's paint, you're putting chips in their paint. You're putting pressure dings all over their fiberglass with that sinker slamming all over. And heaven forbid, when you're swinging that fish onto the boat, if he falls off the hook and goes free-flowing into the air, and sticks in someone's back or in their leg, which is more likely to happen. It's going to stick in their leg. If you just set your rod down and lift them over gently, there won't be any of this mad panic. There won't be any of this 
brain damage that's caused by swinging the fish over the rail. None of that will happen. You'll be totally happy if you start to do it the way I said. Quick hook set, real quick, real quick jerk up hook set, and then slow, steady wind until that fish comes to the very surface of the water. Then you take and lift them over. Another thing that's super important about this rockfish thing is keeping contact with the bottom. Let's say there's a little bit of current, a little bit of wind. You drop it down to the bottom, it hits the bottom, you take a half a crank off, and you have it in gear, and you don't get bit right away. If you're drifting at any speed at all, now that weight in that ganyan is going to be 8, 10 feet off the bottom. Most of the time, those reds are living right on the bottom. They're hanging out down there looking for crabs and stuff to eat. They're not swimming up in that upper water column. I know sometimes we find them up way up the water column, but most of the fish that we're fishing for nowadays are fishing in that, that um, right on the bottom part of the rockfish, right straight on the bottom. So you want to have total contact with the bottom at all times. So you have to keep letting your line back out, touching the bottom. When you feel the bottom, then put it back in gear, take a half a crank off so you don't get snagged on the bottom and repeat and repeat and repeat. Watching your fish finder at the same exact time and watching your GPS and making sure that you're 0.0, .0 distance to go to the spot. Once you drift on it a little bit, you're gonna to start to see that you're not exactly on it anymore. And all of these spots I give you on my website are very small spots. They're very good and they work really well for the people that listen and follow the simple directions that I give you. They do really, really well. If you go and you look at the fish reports right now, the guy's been down there fishing Box Canyon the last three trips he's been out. He's had limits of reds. That Box Canyon area has been hammered for years and years and years, just hammered. And it still produces really good quality fish. So you want to make sure that you're following the simple recipe that I lay out for you. 0.0, .0 on distance to go. Constantly being in contact with the bottom. Also, not big giant swings when you're setting the hook. It's gentle, small, gentle swing. Most of the time, it's about winding. When you swing, you better be turning the handle at the same time. You don't want to let any slack in there. And then once you hook them, well, then once you hook them, that slow, steady wind to the surface is your best bet. If you watch the pros, that's how they all do it. If you watch any of my how-to videos, that's how I do it. I've been rock fishing since I was 13 years old, commercial rock fish for four years, fishing with a hundred hooks at a time. I kind of have a half a clue and I'm just trying to help you. You can do it however you want, but if you want to be successful, you may want to try it my way. Check that out. And then remember, we're giving away that trip on bowline sport fishing. All you got to do is go check out our store. Plus it's holiday time. So go check out the store at yoursaltwaterguide.com. Check out my store on the far right side when you click onto the website. Just by visiting the store, that's going to enter you into a chance to win that free bluefin tuna trip for you and three of your friends on bowline sport fishing with Justin Botrell. I'm going to go as a passenger. I'm going to go fishing with you on that trip. We'll be hanging out on the back deck, yelling at Justin all day about getting us on some fish. We'll have a great time, I promise you. All you need to do to be entered into when that is go to my website, yoursaltwaterguide.com, and then click on the store. You don't have to be a member to enter the store. Enter the store. You might even see stuff in there you want to buy. There's lots of T-shirts, hats, sweatshirts, coffee mugs, stickers, all the Your Saltwater Guide logo, and then all the different sayings on the back of your shirts or on your coffee cups. Check all that out. I want one of you to win. We've had... Quite a few people visit the store. Quite a few people purchase stuff at the store. You may want to get it now before it's too late. Get it shipped to your house for the holidays. I know you have some friends that are always at, asking you, what should I get you for Christmas? Send them to my store. Get a your saltwater guide hat. Get something like that. Check that out. Yeah, I'm going to yell at you all day when we're out there, Justin. You know that. God, and heaven forbid we don't catch anything. Jeez, I'm going to be on you like a pit bull on a pork chop. Justin's over on Insta talking to me right now. You want to check out his website, Bowline Sport Fishing, to see the boat you're going to get to go fishing on if you win the contest. Just go to our store, check it out, click in the store, and spend a couple minutes in there. 
my SEO guy can track who you are that way and we'll have you entered into the drawing. And then Kelly's going to pick one name and she's not going to know if you bought anything or not. Elliot's just going to give her all the names. And that's how we're going to pick the winner. Three of your friends and yourself get to go bluefin tuna fishing on bowline sport fishing. Gang, I got to go get on my flight to fly back to Cabo. I will see you all in Cabo tomorrow. We'll have another good show for you tomorrow. We're going to be talking about the rod and reel that I like to use for rockfish fishing. We'll show it to you and I'll tell you all about it and how it all works together. Thanks for watching today. Thanks for being a part of Go check out promarahi.com. And on your way out the door, they're giving you guys a 10% discount on any products you buy just because you watched your saltwater guide. Go over to promarahi.com and check out all this cool stuff and the squid, the rock cod squirts, and all the other cool products they have over there. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. See ya.